This is Maple County. This is a roleplay game that may be better than Liberty County. This is everything you need to know about Maple County. Let's get into it. Okay, so right off the bat, um, we're going to hit play game. Um, and it's actually a well thought out game. Hang on, let me just plug in. Sorry, you just need to plug in my computer. It was a little laggy. So, um, this game is actually pretty good. Uh, I would say, look at this. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. It's one of my, one of my favorite features. You ready? Is something, is something broken? <laughs> I, oh, there we go. You see how it, it's no windows and then when you walk over to it? <gasps> well, hang on, you guys didn't see that. You guys didn't see that. See? Boom. And then... Whoa. Okay, anyway, anyway. Uh you're gonna spawn here around a dealership. Not unlike Liberty County where you just wanted to spawn, you can buy cars like that. You actually have to go in and actually purchase a car. But you can't have you don't have a mod shop like Liberty County. You actually just um um like what is it? You you can edit it via here. So it's going to have these really cool like kind of things. I really do like this. It's actually pretty satisfying, I think. Once it loads, it will, it will take a little bit, but you know, once it loads. So here we go. You guys can't see my full screen, but you can see that, that there's a truck right there. And if I select the Crown Vic right here. Now you can't see it, but you're going to see all your stats on this side of your screen, on the uh, right side of your screen. And you're going to see a button that says spawn. And on this, on your left side of your screen, you're going to see vehicles and then edit. So you're going to hit edit and it's going to change to this. So you can have your plate icon. I guess you're going to make more icons and all that kind of stuff. But just for that, there's just a maple. So if you just want to look at that, there's a maple icon right there. Uh, you can also change your, um, your uh, kind of like uh, plate design and, of course, your color. So you can make it red, select, and all that. It doesn't change the price at all. Uh, unlike Liberty County, where you have to actually pay for it, you can make it really whatever you want. So, I'm going to make mine, for the sake of the video, black. Um, just because it, it looks kind of like an undercover cop, and I just kind of want to be an undercover cop. Because, by the way, an undercover cop is 350 Robux. So, because this game is 80 Robux, you would have to pay 420 Robux to get everything. <laughs> Which is... If I may ask, I may state, that's a lot. So anyway, you get in your vehicle, and then you're going to hit Z to uh, start the engine. I'm not sure why it's Z and why it isn't other things. But as you can see, I have my fuel and my um, vehicle. But if you want, as you can see, I, there's no cursor right here. But if you want to hit control, you can see your cursor right here, and you can move with your right click. Um, I'm not sure how that is on mobile. I'm not sure if you can play on mobile. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a, if you guys have ever watched Roleplay Masters video on this, which I did, and I was like, okay, I kind of want to buy it and see what it is. Uh, it is a very different car than any other car. So the lights are L, uh, and the turn signal is E and Q. E is to turn, uh, uh, right, and Q is to turn left, uh, for the turn signals. You can't turn, uh, anyway, it, it's very... If you, I would recommend playing a little bit more of a ERLC before you play this, um, if you don't know how to drive a car in Roblox. Um, but as you can see, you can follow the laws. You don't have to follow the laws, but I would because it actually takes your money away. Um, but it won't take your money away if you pass a stop sign or two. So, as you can see, I, I can put mine up and it'll start blinking. Uh, also, if you ever wanted to back up, it can also go back up lights so it has the lights right there so you kind of have a little bit more back up lights and backing up by the way it goes very 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 fast that's about 60 miles per hour right there so it's actually really 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 cool and i i do really enjoy uh the car mechanics of the game um uh, there are, I think this is an apartment building right over here, but there's no windows. There are windows, but you can't really go into them. So as you can see, like, if you wanted to park right here, which I'm not going to park right here. Uh, j j make sure you park it or turn it off. 
uh, because it will just keep going. So, if you can see, oh, no way, there is an interior. So, let's just go see if we can, uh, if we can get a cow. So, we can call the elevator. So, I don't know if that's, uh, we'll call this one, we'll call this one. But that's actually pretty cool. We can, we can, can we go up the stairs? I guess, I guess it's not here yet, but that may be coming very shortly. Um, so yeah, so you will be having apartments, I guess. I think that's, that's kind of, um, you said. If you guys like GTA-based games, I think that this is the most GTA-based game, or G GTA, um, like game, uh, out there on Roblox. That it's actually really good. Oh, <clears throat> very sorry. <laughs> oh god, um, it just got worse. Um, anyway, um, so oh, I'm right now being pulled over. Don't really know why. Okay, okay, guys. So it actually turns out that that uh, it was a vehicle identification. So they actually found a black uh, Crown Vic, um, and they just pulled me over because they thought that I was. I I think. Okay, thank you. You too. Uh, yes. What? <laughs> I'm a little scared. This guy's, this guy's, I think, the highest rank. I think he's a lieutenant. Real quick. He just asked me if I was at dropping. Or Duncan, I should say. I said I literally just, you saw me, guys. I just passed it. I kind of just back up, but I'm trying to find someone in the Black Crown Vic. Okay. Oh my. So it was actually uh just uh he just probably just stopped me uh because I was at uh dipping, um but yeah so um yeah. It's actually a pretty good game. Um, it actually doesn't uh, take you out whenever you do turn right on red because that's not illegal. Um, now any cop is going to come after me. <laughs> um. So, yeah, the game is really big. So, you're going to need a bigger laptop or a bigger gaming computer or PC. Now, if you don't have one, that's going to be uh, a bummer. Yeah. You're also going to need a little bit more money. You're going to need to get at least an, uh, a, uh, a gift from a friend. Uh, or you're going to either need a uh, premium. I need a pullover. Um, or, um, something like that. So, I'm going to pull right in here, and my car is stuck, but that's okay. So, this car is actually pretty good. Um, I really do enjoy it. There's actually the turn signal, or the indicator is what the British call it. Um, but, yeah, so... Most of these buildings you actually can't go into, but there's actually a pretty good map. If you go uh, right over here, there's a map. So um, it's actually like you know you can. There's very detailed. It like a, it's like a, it looks like a 3D image kind of thing. You know, it looks like a 3D um, map. It's all in the daytime, so it's not all in the night. And it, but I think it's a better map than Liberty County, uh, the the map version of it. Um, now I, there was something bugging with the map. And if you did buy it, I want you to know that you did buy it as a beta tester. You are testing the game, and you are going to be testing the game. There are going to be bugs. <laughs> this game literally came out nine days ago, and they've been working on it for a while. But then again, you can't just work on bugs every single day. I mean, you worked really hard on it. So, besides any of that, let's work on the functions like the phone. So, if I come over here and I hit Y, we're going to be working on this side, the left side to the right side. So, let's get into the phone. You're going to have a loading up a little bit um, and all that. You're going to have all these apps. You're actually going to have less apps than this. I've installed all of my apps right over here, but if you haven't installed any of your apps, like the music, you can actually 
go click over here and it says get. So you can actually get all of these. Bank and weather. So you can actually see all their weather. Uh, and you can see your maps. Uh, you can all that. So uh, buy a home. Um, and then hex. You know. So it, that's actually pretty good. And then you can message people. So that's a really, really, really good function that I really think that they should add to Liberty County. But, of course, the phone is in Liberty County. It's just to call people. So right over here, you come over here to credits. These are all the developers that actually worked on the game, which are absolutely amazing. This is the map. This is actually a 3D map uh, on your phone, so you can just kind of use it on your phone. If you ever needed a little quick map to see where you were, if you're walking, or you just wanted a little bit of role play, that's how you do it. So if you actually want to know landmarks right over there and the postals. So you can actually do that on the other map. But as you can see, that that is your map. SOS is how you actually can call for help. So you can actually type police or EMS. And then you hit the send button. Um, but do not fake call it. Because <laughs> you're going to be in real big trouble. Then weather. This is actually very... I think this is live weather. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I mean, it is kind of just... Cloudy and sunny, but, you know, it is 11 degrees in Maple County, which is very, very, very cold. Uh, because where I live, it's probably, it's, uh, probably about 41 degrees right now. Um, so that's actually cold. Uh, and then here's our bank, so you can actually deposit your money, withdraw money, and pay users. So you can actually pay users in here. So if you ever wanted to gift your, um, gift your friends or your family members, um, some, you can just gift them like that. So you can also show the amount. I'm not sure what the highest amount is, but of course all that. And then you can look at your previous activity. So if someone ever, like, you know, hacked your account, you can actually see that. So as you can see, I bought my Crown Vic. I, uh, completed a job shift, completed a job shift, completed a job shift, job, 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 shift. Bought an M9, completed a job shift, come, job, 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 shift. As you can see, all of that. Um, so, um... Uh, that, that's actually pretty cool how they actually show you that you can do that. Next up is music. So you can actually listen to music that's actually added on your phone. So yeah, if you ever wanted to listen to music, you have tons of music that's actually, I believe, um, copyright free. Next up is Hex. I'm at a safe place to the park van. I'm in the apartment beach, LOL. Lot. I think that this is a, uh, this is kind of like a Twitter or something. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, of course, you guys can play around with that. This is the app, uh, the app store. So, you know, you can get all your apps right over here. And then this is buy a home. So you can actually buy every home here. Uh, unless it's like, you know, open. Unless it's not open. So there's, I think there is, you can actually, I think... You can purchase it, um, but it is like rental, so you have to buy it per day. So if you ever wanted to buy a home, make sure that you, you know, buy it correctly. But this is now the gallery, and then you can purchase that. But that's actually pretty cool. So yeah, that, you know. And then the next one is my citation. So it has that little, like, maple leaf. Uh, and so you can see your active citations and your active, uh, inactive citations. So... You can see all your citations that you have in this app. So you can actually click on it and it'll show you what what happened, why you happened, all that. Next at the bottom. So now we have our settings. So our settings is temperature. I'm going to put it on Fahrenheit because mine is Fahrenheit. So actually it should be a little bit less than that. So let's go over to weather again. And it should be 83 degrees. All right, that's hot. <laughs> Never mind then. So the clock is 24 hours, so I'm going to make that 12 hours. Um... And then, uh, you can have all this kind of stuff, spawn, default, you can also make it your home, um, and then all of that. So you can turn your bank, your money, the postals, ERLC, uh, e ERLC, ELS r range, and your mini map on. So you can turn off your middle map, and it's gone. You can turn it on and off. But the good thing with your mini map is you can actually see your speed limit on that road. So I would really uh, recommend putting that on there. Um, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So you can see all these. Uh, you can see that that you can see all your keybinds on here. Uh, and it's, it's really good of a settings. Um, so yeah, so you can actually turn on your notifications. So if you ever get you know text from someone, you can too. So this is the uh, store for it. It's temporarily being disabled. Uh, because it's in pre-station, 
uh, pre-stages we don't really see, as you can see. And I, I can't really click it out, but that's fine. So I can go into my bank and I can see um, a transaction that I've gotten. So I think it's by playing the game. So as you can see, these are all my apps. Um, but the store has been closed just because if you if it bugged, you just paid Robux for nothing. So they didn't want to do that. Um, so this is the app. Uh, you can see all your apps from here just by clicking the home button. This is the jobs list. So you, these are all three available jobs. Um, so you can you can be at drop in, uh, MCSO or FPD. Uh, so these are all the jobs that you can do. And just so you know, if you do join a job, you have to leave the job before you uh, join another one. So we're going to be getting that on in the next video, uh, just because we're already at 14, uh, 15 minutes, and I do want to uh, include the next part. So, as you can see, that that is that, and then here are the messages. So you can message anyone in the server by going up to here and saying, Hi. And then you can click this, there. Now it has this message and it says 10:11, and as you can see, my time is 10:11 or was 10:11. Now this is every uh, 24 minutes is an uh, every uh, one minute is an hour, so 24 minutes is one day in in Maple County, um, and that's actually pretty cool. Um, I really do like that because every second is a minute. Uh, real real time, every second is a minute in Maple County, um, so that's a little bit um, of a um, uh, confusion right there, but anyway, um, why, uh, is how you take your phone away, and of course, actually, you have all this kind of stuff, like, 100%, but you actually never lose it, I'm not sure if they're going to add it, like, you maybe lose it, but of course, you can't really, you know, uh, do that, so let's go on the other side of the screen, actually, let's talk about the middle bar in the front, so if we can see right over here, uh, I'm going to zoom it up right there. So as you can see, this is our health bar and this is our stamina. If I ran really much, it's it's going to have a lot more stamina than other games uh, where, like the ERLC. Uh, Liberty County has a lot of stamina, but uh, like not enough for me. I'm really, like, I kind of just hold shift. Um, but yeah, you can really run for a good, I would say, two to three minutes in real life. And no, I'd say maybe about a minute. Um, yeah, you would be able to run about one, one minute and 20, no, one minute and 40 seconds. Uh, if I do my math correctly, yes. Um, so you, if you just non-stop running, you would be able to run for one minute and 40 seconds so yes that is that and then you have your health bar right here so if you ever get shot you can see your health bar this right over here it's really nothing like i can click it but it doesn't do anything i'm not sure what it is though uh it doesn't kind of like make it like a blue and red it kind of is their logo but i think that's just to separate it they may add that in the future um i would like that to be like a button for your phone because that would be pretty cool but anyway let's get on to the next part um, which is the other part of your screen, which is right over here. So your screen, this is your money. It is glitched right now, for me at least. That's not how much money I have right now. Um, I'm not sure how this is, I've never, like, I mean, maybe that's my money? <laughs> but, because that's actually my money? Let's just actually see. So, um, uh, if I, if I, uh, look at my bank account right now, I do have, uh... Yeah, that is exactly how much money I have. So that may be about the money that I have right there. Um, but I'm not sure what this is for then. And I'm not sure if that's like my law thing. So if I break the law, they would ha I would have to pay that much. Um, because that's all my money, which I'm not going to pay. So um, um, as you can see right over here, this is going to be your mini map. You can always press it and it shows up your mini map. Uh, it's actually pretty cool ma animation. And then it closes. Uh, it's kind of like opening up a... Uh, uh, paper map, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and as you can see, you can see your player disconnects and player connecting, connecting. So you can see if your friend joined or if your friend left. Uh, you don't have to keep uh left. <laughs> you don't have to keep um, like you don't have to drive around the map or call them uh or anything like that. So as you can see, Elliot Dog and uh Jip Cola has uh 
I just left the server. Is this just connected? It doesn't say left. It just says disconnected. Just in case they're um, because disconnected is more formal. Uh, and it more is role play. So they didn't just leave because they didn't like like it. They just disconnected, which I really do like that. Um, but as you can see, you can see our current location. Of course, I'm in the forest. So they don't have that. But they didn't really do a really good job of this. So if I go over here, as you can see, I'm right now in Little Rock uh, Highway. So I can see that I'm in the highway. And then as I move over here, I'm in the shopping district. So this is the shopping district, um, Little Mountain. Uh, there's also other stuff. Uh, other stuff down there. Nothing right, literally in here. Uh, that's an undercover car right there. I'm not really sure why they're parked over there. But if you can see right over here, um, this kind of circle right here is... Um, um, a 65, that's your speed limit. So you can actually see your speed limit on the road that you're on, which is actually amazing. Um, so I'm not sure what peacetime is. I'm not sure if that's your safe zone or if that's not. Let's actually go see because I know the, um, I think that the, this kind of area is a safe zone. Um, so if we see, I think peacetime, we're in a safe zone right now. Uh, but peacetime is not dis uh, enabled, so I'm not really quite sure what peacetime is. If anyone knows what peacetime is, put it in the comments. But this is actually a really well thought out game, so well thought out that if you hit G, you can actually um, have all your emotes. Um, so these are their animations. Um, so you have like the other animations, and then you have your animations right here, which are actually pretty cool. Um, so you can like do the monkey like that. And then all that kind of stuff. So, uh, tab, and you can see all the players. So you can't really drag any of this. I wish you could, but of course you can't see all the players right now. But you know it shows you that they're in the FPD, they're in the MCSL, or they're in the civilians, and it also shows you that they're working at Duncan or anything like that. What they're working at. So yes, this is a really well thought out game, and um, uh, and everything like that. So this is just for the civilian team. Uh, of course, the police team has way, like, a ton of more stuff added uh, and all that kind of stuff. And we will be getting that right now. This is going to be a full video. So if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you guys have wanted to see the police team and all that kind of stuff. If you ever have ever wanted to join any teams um, uh, and you've never known how, you just you just go over to your phone. As you can see, I was looking at my deposit. You go get hit this one, and this is your jobs. So as you can see, I'm going to be working as the uh, FPD, because if you've never played this game, MCSO is packed. <laughs> you need to get on the server fast before your MCSO is dead. Also, if you have never noticed, uh, there's not that much daytime in the game. There's more nighttime than in, in the game than in daytime. Right now it's 5.04. And because it's daylight savings for us in the U.S., I think that's why it's going down. Um, but even even in daylight savings, it's not seven five fifteen five seventeen. You know when the sun is going down. Um, but yeah, but you know it gets dark probably around seven thirty. Um, so you know you probably need to get on your headlights around then. Uh, so yeah. Next up is your job. So this right over here, we're going to join the FTD. Um, now, you may not be able to join uh, all your call signs because I don't know how that's not available. But I'm going to do one, two, three, four. That call sign is available. So you really can't role play with your call signs because I don't really get how you can actually make a call sign because that's the call sign that I've always chosen. But this is an absolutely crazy. If you came from ERLC with absolutely nothing, this is what it has. Just look at this. So, if you can see right over here, you can sh search up your hat, and it shows your hats right there. Same with your uh, your uh, shirt and all that kind of stuff. Um, it just it's just absolutely amazing. So this rain jacket right over here, you can see all your jackets um, uh, right over here. So you can see your high visibility jacket, your class A white uniform, your uh, class A uniform blue, your class A uniform white, all that kind of stuff. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to be class A uniform blue. Uh, and then you can see all your shirt, your pants. If you click pants, it's only going to be one. So you only have one pants, which has that red stripe. I think that's their, um, I think it may be a Canadian game. So maybe, uh, maybe considered to, um, uh, kind of the, um, uh, the queen, 
uh, or the Army Red Cross. I'm not, I'm not sure. Not the Red Cross. I'm really dumb at this game right now. So you can also have this bodyguard, um, or if you do upper torso for um, this, there's going to be three options that you just saw right over here, upper torso, and you can pick uh, body cam. So it's, it's a little laggy for me, but look at that body cam right over there. It's actually pretty, pretty well done um, and all that. So you can only have one, but that's fine. One uh, vest, but that's that, that may, does make sense because it may glitch out. So you can see your duty belt. And the, the thing about your duty belt is you always have a duty belt on, but you can customize it. So as you can see right over here, I'm going to put it full. And this is your full belt. So your gun holster would go right over here, and you can customize it whatever you would like. So you can put your taser right here. You can put your, uh, you know, you can put all of this stuff right here. So you can put uh, your pepper spray on your side. You can put uh, mag, uh, uh, mag, shamag things. You can put a baton pouch. You can do, like, all of this other stuff. Uh, it doesn't mean that you don't have it. It actually just means that um, you just have, um, uh, it kind of looks more roleplay-ish. So, um... You can see that all this are all filled up, except this one, so I'll just put like that one right there. And then you can see that these, these, this, this, this one, you know, all of them are filled up. So if you confirm that, then you can see your whole loadout. So I can, I can create a loadout um, by uh, going to your overview right over here and your upper torso, lower torso, and then under it is loadout. So you can see your loadouts and you can save the loadout. So then your loadout will come up over here, and I'll just say, me load out. And then you can add, loud out. <laughs> so then you hit deploy. As you get, okay, there we go. So right over here for the police station, and I believe the sheriff, you can view your For um, the sheriff, it's, I think it's a little different. Uh, no, I think it's not. I think it's always the same. But as you can see, your pistols, uh, it also shows on this screen. So this this kind lady right over here helped you out. So you can get your Glock as your first, as your cadet. So you can see it, and she gives it out. And then you can see all your rifles, your SMGs, your shotguns, and your policing. Now, your policing is going to be your handcuffs and all that kind of stuff. Now, I would really recommend getting this stuff because... If you can, you can't really arrest anyone without or a uh, uh, anything like that. So you can't really arrest people without like handcuffs. So all that uh, kind of stuff you can get here. Now the only thing is you cannot get without a um, without ranking up for right now for the policing kind of things is the third uh, the what is it I think yeah that's it. So the radio the radar gun and the ticket book. So you can actually. Um, uh, make citations, uh, if you, um, you know, do anything else. So there's nothing for the other, so you're gonna hit the exit on the other side. And as you can see, this is a safe zone, so if anyone came in here with a gun, you would be perfectly safe. Very sorry for this lag, I'm not sure what's going on, but as you can see, you can go out this door. So, view cars. So once you view the cars, you're gonna see this loading screen. We are loading some assets from the server, which are actually pretty cool. Um, and right here. So as you can see, you can see them come up. And these are all the cars you can get right now. Um, this is the highest for the police team, and it's different for the, um, what's it called? The, the sheriff. So I'm not sure if the sheriff and the police have the same ranking. Uh, hopefully they do. Um, because if they don't, that's going to be really hard to rank up on the MCSO, because they don't have private servers. But if they do have private servers, that would be absolutely great, because I would love to have free private servers, because how much this game was, that would be a lot. But, anyway, because I am I am a tester of the game, um, I did have to pay for this, and I do like it, and I really do enjoy it. So, you can hit the, uh, 20, 26, uh, Impala. Not the 26, I'm, I'm really bad at reading. <laughs> Then you can hit edit. Now you can do a lot of things if you got the actual pass, which is 350 uh, Robux. Now the pass with 360 Robux allows you to make your package, if we can, uh, slick top. You can't really see it, but you can like see it in the picture. Unmarked, uh, and you can also make it standard as well. Um, but also with the stoplight, you can your the spotlight, <laughs> you can actually take that off. 
And I think you can do that without it. So yeah, you can take that without it. I, that was that was said. Like you know, you're supposed to, um, like need to, to hit it on. But you know, it's it's actually fine. So um, yeah. So there you go. These are the full police cars. If you ever needed to like look around it, you can just click the right side of the screen or the left side of the screen. So that's how you move it. Then on the other side of the screen, you're gonna see. Um, the button spawn, and then once you see that button spawn, you're going to hit spawn. <laughs> then you're going to, um, enter vehicle like this. Now you're, you're kind of like, it kind of glows, which is actually pretty cool. You actually can't see anything. I'm not sure if you can. So you have to unlock your vehicle because of how laggy it was. Um, I would have a really fast computer, but I, I don't have one, especially when I'm recording or streaming. So I'm never going to be streaming this um, unless I get like a pretty fast computer because it's 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 really, really laggy and it's making my computer go crazy. So uh, as you can see, I can go forward and I can turn on my lights. Now, something with the lighting, you have to remember. Oh, my God. Cause that guy was asking, uh, how do I get a car? So, I just need to tell him. He literally just stole my cop car. Are you, uh, God. Uh, yeah, so you can steal cop cars. Um, it sucks, but yeah, you can. So I can view my car again. <laughs> God. I literally just need to show that guy how to get a car. So I yeah I guess you can see look, look how many look how many cop cars there are. So you can enter the vehicle. Um, we'll do that. You need head Z to start the vehicle, uh, and then for um, this you're going to need your um, other side of the screen to look. But now that you're in a car, you can actually see something different about the control panel. So. Um, Something really crazy about this is um, is that you can actually have a real MDT. So this is a police can patrol. As you can see, this this is your database. You can see the database all right over here. You can also see the plate numbers of everything. So you can see that you can search players. You can do all that. You can also see your call menu, which is also crazy. Um, you can also go over here and you can see all your calls. So this is the call right over here. Uh, and you can see that. Um, and then you can log out. So you can log back in later. So if someone actually steals your car, they would not be able to go into the database, which is actually pretty good if you log out. Um, so that's really good if you log out. Um, you need to log out every time you leave, just in case, you know, someone does. But always remember to lock your car, because I learned that the hard way. Um... So, by hitting J, or it actually has lights on, by hitting 1, you actually have your, um, your, uh, sirens. But if you did want to look at the other sirens, uh, this is your sirens over here. By hitting uh, 8 is your sirens, and by hitting 9 is your lights. J is the full thing, uh, which is awesome, because my name is J, so, you know, it's... it's okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. It's, it's It was not meant for me. I just wanted to make it an easy thing. Come on. It's not about you. No one, no one cares about you, alright, Jason? So sorry about that. I, I was just talking to myself, you know. Pep talk. Not really a pep talk. But anyway... Uh, as you can see, this is your pistol. Now, how to, how to, uh, you want to probably aim. And then, right over there, you go over here to arrest, but you can only really detain them, uh, because it does, uh, lag. So, as you can see, you can spray it, and then your taser, it kind of just stuns them. It's actually pretty good. Your baton, you can kind of, like, hit people. And then, of course, your torch. Or your flashlight. So, um, as you can see, with your, your torch, you can actually not really have the best field of view. I mean, I can't even see the tree over there. 
I can't, literally can't see anything. But um, as you can see, it goes probably about I would say ten feet away from you. Uh, that's probably about that's actually probably about ten feet. Yeah, I would say ten feet uh, away from you is probably the max away from it you can have. Uh, you can actually see something uh, or on a on a sturdy road. Um, but yes, the sunrises in this game are beautiful. The sunrises, the sunsets are absolutely beautiful. Um, so if you got the game for sunrises and sunsets, uh, which I don't know how you, why you would want to get that, but if you just wanted to get a game to roleplay as a civilian, unlike Liberty County, this is supposed to be a civilian game. It has a ton of, of civilian stuff um, and civilian jobs that you can work there. And also, with the civilian jobs, you can go over to your phone. So if I go over here to my phone, uh, there's also a radio. Um, so you can you can actually uh, say if you are a um, if you're off duty, if you are kind of not disturbed, or if you want to be if you're online. So you can also hit panic button. I'm not going to do that <laughs> because if I do, people actually I'm gonna do it. Alrighty, so I'm going to be leaving here. <laughs> and by putting that panic button, it shows where everyone needs to go. So it's maybe going to be a little bit overused. But, <laughs> um, please don't do that. <laughs> um, um, but anyway, I'm so sorry for doing that. Um, but yes, that's going to be spawning a car. Actually, we don't need to spawn a car because of one thing. Um, let's get, let, can we get out of here? Yeah, uh, no, we kind of just want to exit. Let's go, let's, let's, yeah, let's just leave here. So it's actually a fun thing about that is you can actually leave, but by going to your phone right over here, um, and I will make it so you guys can see the phone, and then right over here. You can be, um, uh, drop in donuts so I can teleport or I'll walk. You can also drive, so I can, I'm going to teleport over there because I do not want to walk. So, as you can see, many people can go over there. Um, and all this kind of stuff. But there's also fake people. So these are all fake people. I, see, I, I can talk with them, but they will never talk back. But, you know, I, I can also order people different. So, hello? There's a bald one in the kitchen. What? He trolls a lot. Uh, are they talking about my co-workers? Oh, jeez. Anyway, so over here, you can actually hit donuts, coffee, smoothies. So if I want a smoothie, I can hit smoothie B. And then smoothie, and then over here, a smoothie would have to be made. So I can actually go over here uh, and get dough, um, or go over here and make some coffee. So I can hit coffee, and then it actually makes the coffee. I can pick it up, and I can drink it. Okay, I actually can't drink it, but I can, you know, like, do all that kind of stuff. Um, there's a coffee joy, coffee joy wreck in there, so I can give, um, I'm not sure how you give people, uh, stuff, but if you do know how, uh, great for, good for you. Um, anyway, guys, uh, I think that this is mainly the thing that I have kind of, uh, you know, this is not the full overview, but this is most of the interview. So I'm going to say that's going to be the full interview. Or the full, not the full interview, but the full, like, run-through of Maple County. Everything you need to know in Maple County. Uh, there is also a drive-through in, in this. I'm not sure if there's, an, uh, if there's a drive-through in the pizza one. But, um, yes. So how you leave a job is you go on your phone, and you hit the jobs button, and then you can leave. So leave job. So you can see MCSO is actually working, and you can see once I leave, you can view the summary and all that kind of stuff. So I work the shift. If you do say view summary, it doesn't really work. So you can just hit close. So as you can see, if I go over here, and I go over here to my bank, I can see previous activity. I might complete a shift. So I completed a shift. Uh, and the more you work, the more money you get, which is actually absolutely crazy because you can get tons of money if you just kind of just sit there. But I would not do that because I uh, gotta do some work. Um, but um, yes, yeah, so there's gonna be tons of more stuff added to the game, um, and I really cannot wait for it to be um, 
uh, a, a really good role play game with more people and actually free because because I'm a tester of this game um, I have uh, a lot of respect for how much work is it is in as just a uh, there's an early developing stage I know for Liberty County there wasn't really a phone um, on the er early early nine days of making being it made so um, Shawnee G never got in really until I think a few months after it was made if I'm not mistaken please do not quote me on that one but yes so there is also a secret um kind of place that you do never want to go into um and that's actually um uh it's it, it actually says like a warning so you never really want to go in there if you guys can't find it uh it's actually a tech lab um this is a bank so let me just see if if can you rob a bank uh, I just really want to see so there's a there's a shirt there's a police out of there I can walk in can I yes so you can walk in I guess you could kind of um do all this kind of stuff I'm not sure if they they do have like a tool store or like a drill store or you can like a, or a hardware store where you can you know kind of get the stuff where you get it um you can't really exit I'm not sure why um but yes, you really, I guess you could work as a bank teller if you really wanted to. Um, and I'm guessing that these are work offices, maybe, and then that's how you exit that way. But I guess you can't go in through that way. Oh, I guess you could. <laughs> okay. So, there, yeah, I guess you can't really open up this. I keep saying I guess. I'm really, I'm really trying to stop, guys. I'm really sorry. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there is, yeah, there is shops over here, so you can actually go over here and buy, uh, skateboards. So it's actually really good, uh, especially for testing. So if you actually wanted to ever test the game, and you wanted to just start off testing, um, maybe that's what your dream job would want to be for Roblox. Uh, I know Liberty County pays a lot of people. Pays, I think they pay a good amount for testing their games. Um, that's really my dream. I would really like to be a tester. Not for the money, but actually for, like, you know, I'll be able to see the first thing of testers. And I would really like to get, get well used to the, um, developers and be able to have, a, like, a chat with the developers. Um, and see what their plans on Maple County is. Because Maple County is absolutely, it's like 11 when ERLC was pretty, maybe 6 when it was made. So, it is, I feel like this is a very good game. Especially for its early starting stage and how much work they put into it at the front and the first and how many people they found. Here, like Liberty County is a very well game. It has 10,000 people playing. This only has 64, like 67, 60 play people playing, um, so maybe 70, uh, sometimes 80. I've seen 100 people play it, but that was only like in the day. It is 10 a.m. where I am right now. So, um,. Uh, I should be asleep, but I'm not. <laughs> I had to go get vaccinated, uh, not vaccinated, I had to go get tested because uh, I did have a fever yesterday. It was a, it was a kind of a low fever, you could say, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, I think it was because I was watching a really crappy Star Wars movie, the first uh, Phantom Menace, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm really bad at jokes, guys. Please, please help me. So this is the, um, you know, this is the police station. They have really good uh, police station. Um, really high tech. I if if, uh, if <laughs> I don't really want to say this because I'm an ERLC kind of YouTuber, but um, <clears throat> I uh, like this police station better than Liberty County's. Hopefully, Liberty County's not watching this video. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, it, and see you guys in the next one. If you guys want me to do a Maple County video, let's get this video up to ten likes. And thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.